thousand likes. I got so many likes, so sometimes you just have to ask and I forget that. Oh, and let's start with questions today. Normally I've been doing questions at the end. Someone wrote last time, you talk too fast. I'm sorry, I do talk too fast. I will try and slow down. I'm lying, I can't stop and I won't stop. Thanks for the thumbs up, maybe we get 6,000 a day. It never hurts to ask. What the fuck? So every day I've been asking questions to get to know you better. Leave comments below and leave your name. All right, number one, was there a moment that changed everything for you? Yes, my mother dying. Number two, do you put your interests first? Yes, I always put my interests first. That's why I'm watching the Olympics all week and my poor husband said he's an Olympic widow. And also, if you don't put your own interests first, then you can't take care of those around you. Number three, what is the best way to die? Oh my God, in uh, asleep. Like, asleep, no pain, just went to bed, said goodnight to all your loved ones, like, I'm gonna die tonight, Mwah, goodbye, and then peacefully die asleep. Do you consider yourself pretty or handsome, number four? Um, I guess, I don't think I'm like, you know, I think, yes, I think I'm good, decent looking. Four, finally, number five, if you could change your height, how tall would you be? If you could choose your height, how tall would you be? I'd be six feet tall. I think that's a good height for a male. So answer those five questions below and sign it with your name. Those are my answers. Signed, Love Buck. Before I forget, I did an interview I posted earlier today with Staler, who is a 14-year-old who bid on having an interview with me for Project for Awesome. He donated $250 and he did an interview with me and I posted it earlier. I will annotate it above. So please, as soon as we're done here, please check it out. And I love you, Staler. What? You're awesome. These are all topics you tweeted me. Kaylin says, why not Synchro 2018? Why not Synchro, would you guys like to see Synchro skating in 2018? Like they, they, all these girls, they skate together and they put their knee up and they skate in circles and do pinwheels and shit. Would you love to? I hope so. Synchro 2018. Good comment, Caitlin. Kelsey says, talk about the crappy conditions of Russian hotels. Oh my God, have you seen all the pictures? All the journalists are tweeting and there's pee and the water and the thing and the internet's in the ceiling and there's all this. It's like they're bugging the rooms and it's like, it looks pretty dire. Jordan says, talk about the selfie Zane posted. Oh my God. So Zane, hey Zane, hey. Zane posted two photos on Instagram. Instagram like in a row before bed the other night it was like boom here I am with a man boom here I am with a man and it's like what do you guys think it's like is Zane with a man it's like I know he's engaged to Perry but Perry's in New York promoting Little Mix and you know what they say while the Perry's away the gays will play P.S. Little Mix was on Good Morning America the other day and I was like, oh look, it's Fifth Harmony. Potato, tomato, lots of bitches on stage. Too many for me. Tiffany says, talk about how Plushenko is old as F and should get the F out. Oh my God, he's 31 years old, but he's in second place and he's still landing his quad. I hate his program, but he landed his jump, so deal with it. Fritz says, time.com says, Bruno Mars didn't get paid for his Super Bowl performance and his album sales are up. Does it matter? Nope, it's the best. If you wanted me to perform for the Super Bowl, I would, what, what would I do? Oh my God, I have a tambourine. I have a tambourine and a pair of pom-poms over there. I could do a Super Bowl performance. Hold on. Super Bowl 2015. You don't have to pay me. Union Jizzlove18 says, maybe make some Kardashian jokes. Knock, knock. Who's there? The Kardashians. Boo, you whores. Speaking of boo, you whores, oh my God, it's Lindsay Lohan and Damien, I want my big shirt back. They, they were at a restaurant. They saw each other and they hugged and they posed for a picture on Instagram and I was like, oh my God. Mean Girls is 10 years old this year. Oh my God. I love them together. They both, they're aging, but they, they I just, you know, hope no seek, but they, you know, nice to see old friends at restaurants. Nobody told me to talk about this, but yesterday or two days ago, I covered Selena being in rehab, and now there's more information that it was alcohol, it was pot, it was Ambien, it was Bieber, and she was only there for like two weeks, and they wanted her there for six weeks. So it's like, um, Selena, if you need to go to rehab, please go back to rehab. It takes way more than two weeks to wipe all the shoddy off of you. Corbin and Heather and everybody saying talk about the Olympics. So okay, so I did watch the team event on Thursday, the team event. Jeremy Abbott, I love you. I can't believe you had such problems because you are doing so wonderfully at nationals. I know he hasn't done well internationally and now it's so funny because people were like, oh my god, he's brilliant, he's ready. And now the people are like, oh no, we knew he was gonna bomb. It's like, you know, make up your mind. Somebody tweeted that. It's like, are you are you a fan or are you I don't know. And I know I just I wish him well in his own you know, long and short program. And I saw Marilyn Charlie and they were holding up the flag and they were like, it's okay, bitches, no matter how you do, we're gonna win our old gold medals. So you just skid all over the place. And Gracie Gold, the same thing. I can see Gracie's face like, you bitches, are you costing me another medal? Like, I better, you better just get your shit together. I can see Gracie's face like, this noise. Um, but I, I love the Olympics. I'm big into it. I'm tweeting from at Shut Up Buck, and I'm a huge supporter of all the skaters, and I want them to do their very, very best. Even Evgeny Plushenko, I hated his program. It was like, jump, 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 and then, oh, look at me, I'm Russian. Oh, look at me, I'm Russian. Cheer for me, cheer for me. Um, I hate his program. I can't believe his program components score. My other highlight of the first day of the team competition was the Canadian and the Russian Paris team, Egan and uh, Egan. 
Eric and Megan, and they were just so wonderful. Throw triple lutz side by side. Triple lutz is incredibly difficult for a Paris team. And the Russians just, when he threw her for the throw triple twist, it was like, where is she going? Oh my Jesus. I had an entire print of the recap, but I didn't do it. I was like, oh my God, when Aria said, I've got a finger you can use. And I was like, oh my God, she's saying that to a lesbian, but don't. And Aria and her ugly eagle necklace. And Shauna, and do we trust Shauna? Do we not trust Shauna? And, and she deleted the message. I was like, God, that was so creepy when Spencer was like leaving her voicemail. I have something I have to tell you. And if I tell you and I'm right, you're gonna hate yourself, but if I tell you what I'm wrong, you're gonna hate me forever. It's like, oh my god. And then Hannah runs into Spencer, and Emily hacks into a picture, and she gets some money and some clues out of there. And I wrote, Sleuth is the new slay. Sleuth, Hannah, Sleuth. Oh my god, I was gonna tweet that. People are always like, Slay, Queen, Slay. All the gays in this word slay. You know, I'm slaying things. I don't know, like a Rudolph and the slay. But Sleuth, because, you know, Hannah's such a Sleuth. So I'm like, Sleuth, you Sleuth, Hannah, Sleuth, Hannah, Sleuth. Instead of Slay, Sleuth. It doesn't make any sense. In my brain, it was hilarious. Welcome to my world. Things not making sense that are hilarious in my brain. And what was up with the chickpeas? What he's like, I need some chickpeas. She's like, oh, I'll drive an hour and go get some chickpeas. If a man says he doesn't have chickpeas and you're like, I have to drive an hour, it's not worth the chickpeas. And then Aria was in bed that night. I was like, did she ever have the chickpeas? It didn't make sense. And then he scared her and she's like, I'm sorry. He's like, Ezra's like, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. Who says that? Who says, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to scare you? People who mean to scare you, Ezra. And Allison's in the phone booth with her ghetto wig and she has no money and they're like, don't come back to Ravenswood. Shut us. So, and next week is black and white. Lucy. Thanks for watching. As always, please press like. Please leave a comment with your comments of the day. The five comments to get to know you. Go watch the video with Sailor. And yeah, lots of likes, lots of comments, lots of subscriptions, lots of everything. Click, click, click. And I will see you next time. And I probably, yeah. Okay, bye. Oh my God. Don't die, Megan. And if you do die, I hope you say goodbye to me tonight. And then you go to sleep. And then you just die peacefully. Close your eyes, close your eyes and relax because everything's fine. Best video ever. I can taste it.